Kelly contradicted the president, telling the Los Angeles Times, to be honest, it's not a wall. The idea of a solid concrete wall, he said, was left behind early in the administration. While the gridlock continues, federal contractor Raekwon Snyder is wondering how he'll make ends meet. I actually started donating some uh, some blood plasma. Whatever I have to do to put food on the table and keep a roof over it, that's what I'm going to do. In an interview with Fox News late today, the president was asked about negotiating an end to the shutdown with Democrats. He said, I'm ready, willing, and able. I'm in the White House. I'm ready to go. They, meaning Schumer and Pelosi, can come over right now. But until they find some kind of compromise on the wall, the shutdown is likely to continue. Glad? All right, Chip. Thank you very much. There is a manhunt in Texas for a gunman who killed a seven-year-old girl and wounded her mother. Jasmine Barnes was killed Sunday when a man in a red pickup pulled up next to their car and began firing. Police have no motive. The suspect is described as a white bearded man in his 40s. Investigators want to know how a lion got out of an enclosure before it killed an intern at a wildlife conservatory in North Carolina. Janet Shamlian is there. Degree murder and the death of his fiance, Kelsey Barrett. The district attorney's office filed five felony counts against Mr. Frazee, two counts of first-degree murder. We also have three separate counts of solicitation. Prosecutors believe he did not act alone, but no details were disclosed in a case of the facility. Just 10 days. Dana Drenzik says Alex was a natural when she interned at Wolf Park in her home state of Indiana. Could be snowing or raining, and, and if she needed to go out and do her job, not a problem. She was happy to do it. Her family says she died following her passion. Well, I Lieutenant Daryl McLean of the Castle County Sheriff's Office said officers had no choice but to take the animal's life. There were multiple attempts by the conservatory staff to tranquilize this animal multiple attempts to no avail. Shelters like Conservators Center aren't regulated by the AZA, which accredits zoos, but they are licensed with the USDA under the Animal Welfare Act. Jennifer Ireland of the North Carolina Zoo in Ashboro says protocols are in place there to ensure security. When we work with dangerous animals such as lions, we always have two people making sure that all the locks are locked, that all the proper doors are closed, and that all the people are accounted for before we move animals into spaces or before we enter any space that an animal was just in. The center houses 80 animals, including 14 other African lions. Tonight, it is closed indefinitely pending that internal investigation. Its workers shattered by grief. Vlad? All right, Janet, thank you very much. The State Department today said it expects Russia to provide access to an American citizen arrested in Moscow. He is charged with espionage. Here's Barry Peterson. Amid the splendor of the Kremlin, Russian President Vladimir Putin tonight wished for a happy new year, but maybe not so happy for U.S.-Russian relations, as his intelligence service announced they arrested an American in Moscow. Identified only as Paul Whelan, they claimed he was on a spy mission, a crime that carries up to a 20-year sentence. U.S. officials say they have not spoken to Whelan. Things were already rocky when President Trump canceled the meeting with Putin at the G20 in Argentina last month, after Russia refused to return ships it seized from Ukraine. And the Kremlin claimed that Russian Maria Butina was tortured by the Americans to plead guilty to infiltrating American political groups. Lutina agreed to cooperate with prosecutors investigating Russian meddling in the 2016 election. No. At his annual news conference, Putin talked about Lutina and at one point warned about what he called the principle of an eye for an eye. Which is why the Russian media is speculating classic tit-for-tat trade from the darkest days of the Cold War. Vlad? All right, Barry Peterson, thank you very much. Next on the CBS Evening News, a Colorado man is charged with murder and the death of his fiancée. The question is, were others involved? 98% of us don't get enough omega-3s, which is why Mega Red Advanced 4-in-1 packs more omega-3 power into one small soft gel. It supports your heart, brain, eyes, and joints. Mega Red. 